The Kingston Speaks Inclusion Project was a collaboration between Kingston Police and Kingston Community Health Centers, KCHC, to gather feedback from equity-deserving communities on how to improve the police force's equity, diversity, and inclusion, EDI. The project involved a survey of hundreds of individuals, including people of color, homeless individuals and new immigrants, as well as a number of focus groups. The project resulted in a final report with 18 recommendations for Kingston Police to implement. However, the authors of the report, who are KCHC staff, are concerned and disappointed about the lack of communication and action from Kingston Police since they received the report in July. It has been 10 months and there has been no information on the steps police have taken to implement the recommendations. The authors say that this shows a lack of commitment and accountability from the police force. The authors also say that some of the recommendations could have been acted on quickly and easily, such as providing training on EDI topics to police officers and staff. They say that there are many resources and organizations in the community that could offer such training for free or for a fee. They say that training is essential to improve the police force's understanding and awareness of the issues and challenges faced by marginalized communities. Another recommendation that has not been implemented is the formation of a community advisory council that would allow for input from equity-deserving communities and provide some transparency and accountability for the police force. Kingston police say that they are working towards this goal, but they have had to redesign their EDI role within the organization. They say that they have had two officers in this role in the past three years and need to create a more sustainable position with guidance and direction. The authors of the report say that they are frustrated by the lack of progress and communication from Kingston Police. They say that they invested a lot of time and effort into creating the report, and they expected more respect and responsiveness from the police force. They also say that they are concerned about the impact of this delay on the trust and confidence of the communities they consulted with. Many of them were skeptical that police would act on the report, and their fears seemed to be confirmed by the police's inaction. The authors say that they hope that Kingston Police will take the report seriously and implement the recommendations as soon as possible. They say that this is not only important for improving EDI within the police force, but also for enhancing public safety and community well-being. They say that they are willing to work with Kingston Police to support them in this process, but they need more communication and collaboration from them.